Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here bringing you guys this week's Collective Kicks weekly recap. Happy 4th of July. It is Friday the 4th of July and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a safe uh, holiday. Be safe out there. Don't be making any crazy, uh, I don't know, bombs or anything like that. <laughs> I, remember, I remember back in the day for myself, I used to make uh, these little Piccolo Peat bombs. That, you know, the little things that scream that are really loud and annoying. I would t take those and make little, uh, I would smash them up and wrap them in duct tape and put them inside two liter bottles and uh, it was pretty disastrous. Those things would make the loudest booms, but, uh, don't do that. Be safe out there and, uh, don't end up in the hospital. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and, and jump in. There's, uh, about four pages of sneaker news this week. And just to show you guys, there's a little bit of an update to the site. Uh, one thing that I had my guys do that I really liked, um, is the scroll over for the top part. And, and this just tells you the title over top of the, uh, image that you're looking at and for some reason I just really dig that style um, it's something that BuzzFeed uses and it's something that I really wanted so hopefully you guys like that if you do um, let me know in the comment section if you guys like the new little update there also there is a new update on the released calendar and this is something I plan on doing um, upcoming uh, which is every time I do a recap I will look at the upcoming sneakers and then um, just take a look at them and see which ones you guys plan on copying uh, this weekend uh, this week was different because they dropped everything earlier than on uh, Saturday. So I guess, um, did you guys copy anything that you see on the screen here or anything else that dropped? Uh, this is the other thing that th since this um, calendar is updated now, I will go ahead and, and try to update this the best possible. Um, but did you guys cop the Independence Day LeBrons? I actually regret not um, copying those ones. Um, also, the Red uh, Gym or Gym Red Futures look great. And the LeBron 11 EXTs, those were the ones that I focused on for sure. Uh, I struck out online, but I had some somebody look out for me. Uh, so expect a video on those um, next week, hopefully. Uh, also, the uh, Thunder uh, Jordan 14s. Uh, I really did want those at first, and then the more like it came down to it, I was like, you know what, there's so many drops this weekend. Uh, between those three shoes, the Independence and the EXTs and those, I definitely wanted the EXTs more. Um, I still love the Jordan 14 model, but... I want to see more. I, I like the red suede one for sure. That's the one I'm going to be focusing on on the 14s. And then probably the black toes just because it's the OG colorway. Uh, but I do like the 14 models. If you guys didn't know, uh, it was the very first pair of Jordans that I bought with my own money. So it's definitely a, 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 a model that I am enjoy. Anyway, let's go back to the other page. Um, hopefully you guys like the speed of the site as well. With the change up of the new server, um, it serves up the pages super fast. And we don't have to deal with... Um, the site crashing and stuff like that. So we're definitely getting more of a professional feel. There is some more updates that I can't really tell you guys yet. Uh, some really important news or, or good news uh, for the site and the YouTube channel. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you guys know about that uh, in the time to come. Um, also, it looks like there's a popular post here as well. And it loads pretty fast. So you can, you can sort by today, week. And it, again, this loads a lot faster than it used to. So pretty awesome there. Okay, so... Uh, I know that was a long introduction, but I like to do these videos the way that I do them just because it's it's a way for me to talk uh, casually to you guys and then give you guys a sneaker news so you guys can listen to it. You don't have to necessarily watch. Um, but if you guys want to see all, any of the articles, go to collectivekicks.com and uh, you will be able to check them out. And uh, let's go ahead and look. So the Nike Phone Posit 1 gets a red suede sample image. Um, it kind of looks funky with the laces. It looks like it has some infrared or pink laces with the red suede. Minus that, those things would look crazy. And I think that um, we saw black suede ones already, and now we've seen a red suede. Uh, I would like to see uh, one of these actually made into production. Downside is I'm curious to see what the price point would be because it's another layer of, of material. Uh, and who knows what Nike would be charging for those. I mean, we're already seeing $220, $250 uh, for the foams. So I, I just definitely am nervous about that. But I think they look crazy. I would definitely buy those uh, black laces. Uh, no doubt. Uh, LeBron 12 release dates uh, are set for two colorways. Um, you guys want to check that out. You guys can. Prices are going to stay the same. What do you guys feel about this? The LeBron 12 prices uh, are rumored to be staying at 200 um, and not going up, uh, which is good because they kind of hit that, that push point with the LeBron 11s where the sales were... I'm sure the sales are great because the price point were so high. Um but, uh, but the fact that the price point was so high made it really difficult for people to want the sneakers. When I mean, you can spend 
$100 on two other smaller sneakers and, and have two sneakers instead of one. Uh, Performance-wise, though, the LeBron 11, and that's the other thing. That that would be the big thing that push you over the edge, but then you see LeBron not even wearing the the 11s. It definitely puts a damper on things. I think the, the, the 12s look dope. I The sole, to me, is the best part. It just looks crazy with the little pods. And, and Nightwing was saying that, uh, if you guys miss it, Nightwing um, had a, a show hosted on his channel from Rack and uh, some other people, Foamer was on there, and Icy Souls, and there was called the panel, and um, they were talking about those, and the pods, like, if those were actual individual Zoom pockets, that would be dope, and it reminds me of the Air Jordan 22, I showed you guys those on a Throwback Thursday video, and it had the little interchangeable pods that go in the back, uh, or actually underneath the sole, but but, um, it's in the back heel portion, but it's a little hexagon Zoom, um, it's a double stack zoom air for the the heel. This looks like it has a bunch of those all over the place, and they just made them in a bunch of different sizes. I think that's crazy. I think that looks that looks dope. I bet performance wise, these are going to be surprisingly good. Um, and I like the fact that they did that instead of went with the midsole um, with the zoom air cushioning on it because that just didn't work. It was too uh, too too big, and the LeBron 11s were a little bit uncomfortable for some because of that. Now, for me, I personally like the sole. Um, insole swap them with the, the Kobe 8s and it gives me a lot more room uh, and it was a really comfortable shoe but that's just me um, but the Zoom Air was really comfortable don't get me wrong if, if you could deal with the LeBron 11 it was pretty comfortable um, because that Zoom Air is, is, is butter but anyway enough of that I'm curious to see how those are going to sell definitely have more information on the LeBron 12 as it comes and definitely will be picking up um, my first pair when it does drop I did this uh, Yeezy 1 inspired um, pack on uh, the Nike SC Trainer, and it's just basically a pack of, of Nike IDs that I tried to base them off of of the uh, the original colorways of the Yeezys, and I thought it was kind of fun to try. Didn't really succeed super well, but it was fun to try, and if you guys want to see those designs in more detail, uh, go ahead and click out that article. Um, Joe Rodriguez did an article on the weekend releases uh, for some of the ones dropping this weekend. A uh, really nice article there. Thank you, sir. And Samar did a article on the um, Alvin Purples that re-released uh, from Sneaker Freaker. Those actually, I don't know, those are expensive. I, I don't know why um, the, the price point was so high on them, but uh, I believe those already dropped and they sold out like crazy. Um, Jordan Superfly 3, we get a look at those in seven different colorways. Looks like a pretty solid model in my opinion. There's a flight plate uh, at the bottom and that really reminds me of like a, just another version of like a 28 SS model, but it, it makes me um, also can't like wait like I can't wait to to see the 29s I guess is what I'm trying to say um, we've seen them but I want to see them in person and see how how that um, changes anything for the uh, the Jordan um, signature model for for next year it looks like it's gonna be pretty nice um, performance wise I bet it's gonna be pretty nice as well uh, anyway there's uh the rg3 boost um, karmaflage I, I don't know what I don't know if that's just a misspelling that I spell it the the same way that they did, but that's what they called it. So I was like, okay, that must be it. Um, but this is the Adidas Boost um, training shoe, and I gotta say, it looks pretty dope. I like the the cross strap. Uh, I like that Adidas is playing around with different different colors and patterns on their sneakers and kind of breaking outside the the norm box with the three stripes. Um, also, the Boost technology. I say 2014, 2015 is gonna be a, a big year for Boost. I see nothing but good things for Adidas Boost. Uh, it's an amazing technology, to be quite honest. Uh, I've it's tried and true, like the Rocket Boosts that I have. A lot of people have the Pure Boosts. I have the Rocket Boost, which has the same amount of boost material on it. Amazing shoe for comfort if you're just looking one to walk around in. Just crazy amazing. Um, and definitely gives Lunar Line a run for the money. So I see good things happening now that they're integrating them into training and basketball shoes. Uh, it's going to be a wild year. And hopefully people... Um, will uh, actually check out the technology because I think they'll be pleasantly surprised. It's uh, it's quite durable and quite responsive. Um, so definitely, uh, and I did some videos on, on those in the past. If you guys didn't see just the Boost versus uh, Lunar Lawn videos, I did a couple uh, different random ones. But um, anyway, I don't even know what these ones are called. Uh, and that's, the, I guess, the beauty of it sometimes. When you see leaked images, I'm kind of a, a love-hate a relationship with leaked images because I don't like when they, they're leaked and you never know if they're official or not. And then also, um, I I just I don't know how I feel about them because sometimes they're good, sometimes they're they're bad. But what I do like is that you see the image and there's no 
quote unquote name for the shoes. So like these ones are just a black colorway with with the gum sole bottom, and they have that kind of floralish print around the collar. I don't know what they're called. Um, I'm sure you guys probably know already because more information is probably out there on them. I just didn't dig very f deeply into it. Other than that, though, the, this colorway is insane. It looks really nice on the LeBron Low. And I know I just did a LeBron Low video um, if you missed it last week I, or this week because I did a ton of videos this week. Um, it, it was basically saying, did they get lazy because the sole is the same as the LeBron 9 and the same as LeBron 10. The whole sole is exactly the same. But I have to say, um, trying them on and doing it on foot, for that, but they're so comfortable. It's just like they're, it's, it's an amazingly comfortable shoe. Um, so that I guess if, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And and um, I guess we'll see what happens for the LeBron 12. But comfortable shoe, um, not very popular. 170 price points a little high in my opinion. But uh, but the this colorway is actually really nice. So I like that. And yes, you see some tights there. Um, so Nike has a website that they they. Um, they release information, and then um, like bloggers can go and, and use that information. That's why a lot of blog sites have most of the same information on um, at least the stuff that comes from Nike. This was one of the articles, and it's nice to see some butts. Like when you're scrolling through, you're seeing sneakers, 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 booty. It, like it's nice to throw that in there. So I, I want to actually integrate some sort of, a, um, I don't know, maybe a weekly thing with chicks uh, like women in sneakers I, I gotta figure out how to do that yet and what hashtag we can maybe get chicks to use uh, on maybe Instagram and then we can feature some of those images leave some comments let me know what you guys think what hashtag should they use should we be using um, like collective I thought of collective chicks I thought that would be kind of cool if, if any girls wanted to be featured on uh, the website just hashtag collective chicks it doesn't have to be scandalous just chicks wearing sneakers um, collective chicks, so I, I like that. Um, if you have a, uh, another idea, let me know. But I want—it's one of those things that it's been um, a work in progress because I think it's mostly a male testosterone um, environment in sneakers. But I like like chicks wearing sneakers; it's fun. Um, anyway, just uh, food, food for thought. Uh, Air Jordan 11 Pantone on feet, and those are actually happening, dude. I cannot believe that 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 they're actually doing a small release. From what I understand, they're probably going to be pretty damn limited, though. So. A lot of people are going to be upset that they're not going to be able to get those. It's funny that they they like those Pantone uh, 11s, but they hate everybody hates on the powder blue threes. Uh, it's it's mostly the same concept. I mean, just obviously different models. And the threes are really popular models. So I don't know the the, the powder blue threes to me it was an amazing shoe, and a lot of people slept on it, and um, I'm surprised. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, Hyper Jade um, Jordan Future release date, and you can see the uppers now on the Jordan Futures. They changed them up from the from the uh, woven pattern to this other uh material and i'm i want to actually see what they look like in uh person so um but adam wrote that article thank you for that kick series and did another one for uh the reebok answer uh black and red video review check those out those those are some classic shoes right there i used to have those in the white colorway i got them for 40 dollars at marshall's uh which is if you don't know is like basically like a ross i remember i think it was like 30 or 40 dollars um those are great shoes um he also did a, a video review of Air Max Complete Trainer. Go check out Kickstarter and sub to that guy, man. Uh, he does a lot of work for me on the website, which is something I really do appreciate. And speaking of that, I will be looking for new writers um, soon. And I'll put my, my email in the description. It's heskicks at gmail. Um, I'm looking for a couple more writers because I need some people to, to be able to, to post at least one article a week. Um, and uh, And I know that everybody has lives and stuff, so a lot of my writers are not able to, to update as much as I need. Um, so if you are interested in writing for this site, um, hit me up and uh, we can take it from there. Um, Nike Sportswear Polarizing Artist Collaboration. This is like a women's pack. Um, kind of interesting. If you saw the Roshis, actually look pretty nice. Um, and let's see here. Reebok Blast um, New Colors. And these ones actually look pretty crazy too from Kick Series. And check that, that article if you want to see the other um, angles of that shoe. It's pretty, pretty crazy. These caught my eye like crazy, man. These, I don't even know how to say it. Yo, Hiji. <laughs> I'm horrible at that, right? Boost uh, trainers, uh, but the Hawaiian flower print just got me with the boost, uh, on and the uh, the flower like floral print like combination with the black accent, amazing, dude. I I, I just um, it's crazy how passionate you can be about sneakers nowadays or how I feel about it. It's just I see them, I'm like I gotta have those. I don't care what the price is, two hundred dollars, whatever it's gonna be. So I'm not sure um, when they're releasing, how much they're gonna release for, but it's definitely on my bucket list. Uh, I know this is a higher end version of Adidas, so it's gonna cost, but 
it looks amazing. It looks so dope. And and knowing what I know now with the boots technology being so dope, that that shoe's um, gonna get some uh, rotation for sure. Once hopefully I get that one. Um, we get two different colorways again of the Air Future. There's actually five of them. We only published a handful of them, but there was at least five different colorways uh, with this new material. The three three M reflective kind of upper, and then we got a tiger green camo. Uh, as well, just uh, there's so many different ones. It's not. It's like kind of like a, a like a Roshi run. A lot of people have been comparing it to the Roshi runs, and it really is kind of like the the Roshi run style because they're re releasing so many of them in mass quantities that you can pick and choose which ones you really want. They're not not every one is that they drop is one that you're gonna probably want. And I think that's that's something that I dig. I like that that you can be selective and go. Oh, this is the one actually I really do like this one. I can purchase this one. And uh, anyway, I'll, I'll talk more about that soon because I have a um, Air, Air Jordan Future uh, review video still that I have not done that I will be doing with an on foot section of those. And just a little teaser for you guys. I mean, they're definitely dope shoes. Um, it's a non hyped up sneaker that has some hyped up qualities, but um, all in all, the lifestyle um, side of it is excellent. But you'll see that in the review coming up hopefully this weekend. Um, 2014 to 2010 Air Jordan. Um, comparison with the black infrared. There's also the original um, comparison. You can tell though from this one image that the 2014 infrared 23 color is definitely infrared versus the other one in 2010. It looks almost red. And that was the diff difficult part. In 2010 when those dropped, they had the the infrared pack, but then they also, I believe, um, they had a, or maybe it wasn't even 2010. I don't. It wasn't the infrared pack. I don't, I don't remember. But I do know that they had um, an infrared Jordan 6, and then they also had a, a varsity red Jordan 6, and they looked really, really similar. Like, it was almost impossible to tell them apart. Now, with a new infrared color, you can look and go, okay, this is the infrared 20, um, the infrared 23 or the infrared Jordan 6. It's not the varsity red 6. I like that there was a differentiation there in the colors, and I like the way that the infrared looks on the black pair. Again, I've mentioned this many times. It pops out so much more because of the black upper. Uh, versus the all white um, pair of the Jordan sixes with the infrared, the the infrared looks pink, but with the black up upper it looks um, I think a lot better in, in, at least in my opinion. Air Jordan Future Jim Red, those already came out, and uh, keep it rolling here. Air Max uh, Lunar 90 Flyknit Chuckas. I didn't get a chance to try those yet, but they added the Air Max and the Flyknit Chuckas. Uh, something that I'm, I'm a big fan of already. You guys already know. Flyknit Chucka is my number one shoe in my collection for comfort. Um, it just edges out the, the boost technology, in my opinion. And it's just it's a relaxed fit, comfortable shoe uh, for myself. I'm curious to see how that's going to affect it or not. I like that it's extra cushiony, so the Air Max might be adding a little bit more responsiveness than what I would like. But it's something that I definitely want to try on. Um, Saucony gives a cavity pack. So there's two different colorways here, the Minty Fresh and the Black Raz. The Black Raz looks dope to me, in my opinion, um, more so than the Minty Fresh one. But $80, $80 for the price point is unbelievable. Um, and the Saucony's been doing some amazing things this last year as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're interested in that pack, that's coming out uh, fairly soon. I believe that's coming out. The release date's actually in here uh, if you want to check it out. I think it's like the 17th or something like that. Um, we get a first look at a Nike Flyknit Lunar Glide, which is something I'm extremely ecstatic about because I'm a huge fan of the Lunar Glide series, huge fan of Flyknits. Uh, it's a perfect marriage, and it's something that I'm really interested in, in hearing more about and seeing more. Uh, so uh, definitely stay tuned. Not sure when those things are going to be releasing, but uh, I, I'm really excited to see what, uh, what colorways they come out with with those. And you can tell it's a, the, the Lunar Glide because of the cage on the back, but uh, really cool. These ones also, man, and so I try to actually cop these ones, and I never heard back from friggin' Packer or whatever the hell the place is that sells these things. I want these Air Pegasus 89s, and you they didn't sell them online. You had to email them, and I emailed them, and then then I sent them my PayPal information, and they never invoiced me, so I never never uh, got the shoes. But I really wanted these, obviously, with the orange upper and the, and the gray accents. It was awesome. And it was a Pegasus uh, 89. I've never had a pair of those, but it would be one that I would add to the collection just because of the upper. But um, cool looking shoe nonetheless. Um, purchase information inside of there if you if you're lucky enough to get a reply back to them from them. Um, Nike LeBron 11 Volt 3M. A first look. Not really feeling this colorway personally. Never been a huge fan of Volt though. Just green in general. Uh, is not my favorite color. So, uh, but I mean, it is what it is. I do like that they use the gum sole again. I. I I mean, I'm a fan of Gumsoul. It just doesn't look like very appropriate for this sneaker. But uh, 
I don't know. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Do you guys like this this uh, colorway or not? I still love the model. I still think the LeBron 11 is such a sexy model, but that is what it is. Speaking of sexy models, look at these chicks. Um, this is another one of those articles that Nike did uh, for this uh, Dynamic Duo workouts, this N plus TC workout. There's actually a little video pitch on there uh, if you guys want to see that, but uh, pretty cool. If you guys are interested, check that out. Nike Flight Flex Trainer gets a first look. I know Nightwing and I believe Foamer has got gifted these from Jordan Brown, which is awesome. Um, I, I personally think that's great. And I just wanted to clear the air on some of that. Not that it needs to be even spoken to, but I think it's great when other people are seeded product and other people are given opportunities. I don't take it personally that I'm not given certain opportunities at all. And I, and I spell Jordan Brand wrong, so that's that. Um, no, but I, I'm just saying, so... I think that it's great that other people are given opportunities. I don't look down upon that, and I don't um, put myself in a position where I'm like, oh, I wish I should have had that, or that should have been me. So, so I, I'm not even saying that people would have been assuming that in, in this case or in any case, but I'm just throwing that out there for my own discretion. Like, I think it's an amazing thing that brands are recognizing what we're doing in, ge in general on YouTube. Some people have a way better presentation than others. Other people have really, really solid connections that, that have them um, hook them up. All in all, it's all love. From my perspective, I think it's just great that people are, are given stuff. So there's no saltiness ever on my end if I'm not given a pair of sneakers or if I got a, leaked this pair of sneakers but not this pair. Like I'm just happy to get any pairs. And, and I'm just happy that corporations and, and the bigger picture um, is, is looking at us as, as influencers of, of uh, sorts and um, and seeding us product because we're we're not nice kicks we're not those people and they're 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 seeding us uh, just the same so le I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys um, I mean it's it's quite an honor to be even in this category uh, I f still feel like I'm an observer a lot of the times even though I've been doing the YouTube channel for so long I mean it's still every day I'm absorbing more knowledge from sneakers and stuff and so. Um, hopefully I'm passing some of that knowledge on to you guys um, to some extent. But there's a lot of people out there that are watching. My audience is pretty big, which I, I, I can appreciate. Some people know a lot more than me. Some people know um, not not very much. They're just getting into it. So there's a huge spectrum of people out there, and I, I just some uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. And I'll just leave it at that. Um, but I need to <laughs> I need to correct that uh, spelling on that. But those trainers look pretty crazy. I actually really dig the look of the trainers. Curious what other colorways they're gonna have, and uh, they look they look comfortable and fun. Uh, Penny Posit gets a University Red colorway, very dope colorway. Price point's a little too high still for most people, uh, but if I get those at the employee store price, I'm definitely copping them because they just they look amazing uh, with the red. And I like the Penny Posits. So it's just a solid uh, model in my opinion. Again, it gives it that kind of LeBron 11 kind of look, um, so it is what it is. Uh, these were available, and they're not now. The KD7 DMV. Um, or 30, 35,000 degrees uh, for $20 off of retail. Um, so cop to you drop actually shout out to him for mentioning this to me because he was the first one that actually tweeted about it and I saw it and I was like dope. And then I, uh, I uh, wrote the article up, but I believe they sold out really quick after that. Um, anyway, a Reebok signature series. If you want to see that from kicks reason and last page, Nike SC trainers available on Nike ID. I did this article earlier in the week and then two days like after the the site was still down for the SE trainers, you couldn't design them. And then I reached out to my buddy that's over there, and he's like, "Oh, we're working to fix it." And then he's like, "Oh, it's up now." So I was like, "Sweet, it's up." And then I tweeted it out, and and I was excited that uh, that people were able to go check that out. And I, I design probably six different types of shoes or different models or different colorways, I guess, of the the trainer SE. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna pull the trigger or not. I wanted to wait to see if I got the Lebrons or not. So I need to probably slow my roll and not buy them yet, but I really do want them. Uh, they're only, I think, 155 which is a pretty good price for those, and uh, considering like you can make any colorways you want. I made two different Oregon State colorways, so there's a good chance I'm going to be ordering one of those, or the easy ones. I, I like the ones I did there, too. So we'll see what happens. Also, the Nike, um, the Kobe 9 Elite Lows are now on Nike ID. The price went with 245 though. Uh, and you can see here it says that the EM price was 205 So $40 more gets you the fly knit upper instead of the engineered mesh, which the engineered mesh isn't a bad look. I don't, I mean, technology wise, it's a, a downgrade, I guess, but the engineered mesh isn't bad. So for, but for 40 extra dollars, if you really want it, they only had three different colorways. I tried to design a couple different Kobe nine elites. 
Uh, that's another one that I was like, man, if I pull the trigger on this, then it's $400 down between those two shoes. And I just did a KD7 Nike ID that I did buy. And so those will be being sent to me in a, in a week or so. Um, so I, I'm just I'm trying to play a little bit more conservative right now. Uh, there's a couple that I really do want there, though, so we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully I, I'll... I'll have some sort of sense about me and not buy both of them, but um, I don't I don't do that very often. Anyway, Reebok Pump, uh, Insafuri, uh, and Beams. It looks like collaboration there. And also the the Reebok Rail video, if you want to see his review of that, check out Kicks Reason. He has really good videos as well. I mean, really articulated and, and knows uh, quite a bit about the product. So definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a Reebok fan. Let's see here. Uh, there is, I don't even know if this was um, Samar did this one. Uh, this is Ronnie Fike and Dover Street Market Puma release. I'm not even sure what that one was. Cool. I didn't see that, but, um, thanks for writing the article to Samar. And then possible Reebok, um, pump question coming. Uh, that is the, what people are suggesting that it's actually going to happen. Reebok pump question. So interesting. And then the LeBron 12, um, people were saying this is elite cause it's a different looking model than the regular 12 it looks crazy. Uh, I definitely want to see more of it. Uh, we only saw a little teaser image there. And then also the Nike LeBron 11 Elite um, Blue in 3M. Those look wild. I mean, they look really nice, but I personally would rather have the red colorway drop. Um, I'm not sure if that, that one's actually going to happen or not. But if that is the case, we, we're, we're seeing two other colorways of the LeBron 11 Elites that are going to be dropping, which would be the most pairs of Elites that Nike would have actually produced if they actually do both of them. Because usually they only do three or four colors, I think. So, anyway, also the final news: uh, Air Jordan Five Lab Three um, get a release date, July 26th. If you guys are looking forward to those in the black and gray colorway, and that's the weekly recap. Uh, long one, long-winded as usual. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great Fourth of July and uh, rest of the weekend. Hopefully you guys uh, stay out of trouble, and we'll catch you guys soon. Peace, guys.